So that's what I feel that it's better to let it be and focus mm-hmm. on knowing yourself better and just having a more peaceful time. Today we have Sadia Saeed, a seasoned psychologist, the founder of Inner Space and also a mindfulness trainer. She has over two decades of experience being in the space of counseling and I'm sure she would have encountered numerous individuals who are going through this, you know, trouble finding meaning and purpose in their lives. And her knowledge of ancient wisdom, traditions and mindfulness can help us look at this topic from a very deeper wisdom perspective. Right? So without further ado, Sadia, I'd like to go ahead with the first question, but let's welcome you first. Hi, Sadia. Hi, Parvati. Hi. Hi. So um, let's dive straight into the first question. Uh, and this is something many listeners and also just people in general uh, struggle with, right? Um, every individual would have gone through this, you know, the struggle with finding meaning in their lives. But sometimes it's a very temporary feeling, like a very transient feeling where they feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing or, you know, I'm not feeling fulfilled in life or satisfied in life. And sometimes it translates to something huge and it's, it's like a lifelong quest for finding meaning. So as a psychologist, what is something that you would you know what are some input that what is some input that you would give to these individuals who are trying to differentiate between the two yeah as a psychologist but also as somebody who has studied a lot of indian philosophy uh, in general i think that gives a lot of weightage to meaning and purpose and these kind of questions yeah. i would say that mostly the advice is take it light don't hold on too strong to having a purpose because purpose is a goalpost that is forever changing. There is no, hmm. not necessarily going to be one purpose for all our lives. Yeah. There may be or there may not be. Some of us might just feel that there is a sense of purpose to my life and some of us may have changing uh, ideas. Right now it is, uh, you know, raising my kids. Right now it is studying. Right now it is taking care of, her, uh, you know, a parent who is aging. Hmm. It could be anything. Right. So the important thing I feel is to allow for these changing goalposts if they have to be. And there may be moments of not feeling that there is any purpose or not feeling that I have anything to hold on to or any one thing that I'm doing. At that time, just being, enjoying is purposeful, like this pressure of having a purpose. Otherwise, I am wandering aimlessly in life. I yeah. think it's too much of a pressure and I don't think it's needed uh, in the light of perpetually changing goalposts, in the light of not knowing how long we are going to live, in the light yeah. of not knowing when we are going to be called upon to do what, Yeah, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense to have this pressure. So that's what I feel that it's better to let it be and focus yeah. on knowing yourself better and just having a more peaceful time. Right, right. I really like how you pointed out how purpose keeps evolving and there's always this quest of purpose that's just a part of life, right? 